So during Black Friday, I decided to buy myself something that I've been looking at for a while. I haven't seen too many videos about these, but I keep seeing them pop up on AliExpress. And they are these little 7-inch touchscreen, the mini laptops. I was able to find one fairly cheap with all the coupons and everything. So I decided to splurge and get one. So what I ended up getting was 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. Comes in this kind of interesting box. You open this up. You get the unit itself, which is this right here. You get a fully aluminum. Um, this thing has some weight to it. It's pretty, fairly heavy for the size of it. It's much heavier than what I thought it was gonna be. So what do you get out of this thing? On the back of the unit, you have a micro HDMI. The power plug, a USB 3. One side, you have micro SD card reader. You get what looks like a USB 3 and a, a headphone jack. What looks like another USB 3, but actually one of these is USB 2 and one is USB 3, but they don't mark it and they both have the same color, which is odd. The sides, you have some ventilation, you have speakers on the sides. The bottom has actually an access port for a M.2 SSD, which this one, once I opened it up, I realized it is 256, so I got I'm not sure about the quality control on this, but I paid for 128 and I got a 256, so I'm not, not too sad about that. You open it up and you have the actual unit. It is a 7 inch touchscreen from your know, diameter, full Windows 11 Pro on it. It's got a smaller keyboard, but it's actually not bad compared to some of the other micro keyboards or mini keyboards I've tried. Things for like Raspberry Pis or tablets or those type of things. This one is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. The touchscreen itself has a little bit of bleeding. When you turn it on, you can actually see on the far left-hand side, there's some bleed through. Once it's running, you can't tell unless you have like a black background or something like that. You also have, underneath there is a little bit of a, some documentation. It's actually not too bad. And then there is the power cord and a North America and North American adapter. I'm in the United States, so they came with an adapter for it, which makes this fairly large power supply even bigger. This is interesting. Um, also came with a stylus, and it wasn't in the box. It was kind of just sitting outside of it. Is this this case for it? Um, it says that they're free gifts. It's in the listing here. It's free. It seems hit or miss, but eh, not bad. It has a CPU, which is an Intel Celeron J4105. It's a Celeron, which are known for lower power, kind of slower units, but it's faster than my previous tablet, so. It has about three hours of battery life. I've used it just for a small amount of time, and it's that seems about right. Updating everything, trying to do some basic web browsing, do some programming with it. The screen has a resolution of 1280 by 800. It'd be nice if this used like USB-C or uh, even a micro USB or something to charge it that's more universal, but it has a barrel barrel jack that plugs into that power cord and that power adapter to charge it. They say it's a pocket notebook. It's definitely not pocketable. It's portable, but uh, you can't put this in your pocket. Not if you plan on bending your leg. Maybe a jacket pocket. Definitely can put this in the small pocket of a backpack or small little day pack or if you carry those things. I currently have it with a Bluetooth Logitech Pebble wireless mouse that I'm gonna be using. It's also slim, keep, keep them together. Overall, it's actually not a bad deal. I've been looking at these for a while. I decided to get one when the price was low enough. I wanted to try and get it for about $200 is the price that if it, I told myself if it went down to that, I would get it. And with the Black Friday sale and some deals and things I was able to get on off Alley, I got it down to 202, which then if you use my credit card and cash back part actually brings it down to under $200 or very close to $200. So I decided to pull the trigger and try it. I'm definitely gonna mess with this a lot more. I've already got Python and Jarvis installed in it. So now I'm just trying to mess with it during the day, see what I can do with it. I'm gonna do an update a month after having it and I'll kind of let everybody know some th issues or problems I've come with it or found. Let me know if you're interested in these type of things. Let me know if you have one, how you, what you've done with it. And if you like these type of reviews, hit that subscribe button, leave a like. If you don't like it, 
that don't like button. Let me know. And until next time, bye.